Hi and welcome in 3.9 almost maximum possible IAQ magic find build. This build for now is intended to farm low tier maps with Valwain's Prophecy Corrupting Tempest for 6 link drops so we can call it Tempest Hunter. Note that this is a standard league build made with legacy items but it's still possible to make similar build on temporary leagues just with lower quant. Current flat item quantity is 194% and item rarity is 75%. It can be temporarily increased with Wind Reaper bonus by additional 25 item quant and 50 rarity and with Divination Distillate Flask effect by another 26 quant and 56 rarity which gives total numbers of 245 quant and 181 rarity. Normally my Divination Distillate gives 25 quant, 54 rarity but I have Mana and Flask effect point on tree which makes it 26-56. Additional quantity can be achieved by swapping Headhunter for a legacy 12% Quant Perandus Blazon or a 15% Quant String of Servitude, but Headhunter is so OP and so much fun that it's the only slot on which I'm giving up quantity. 5% Quant Implicit Headhunter would be a perfect option for me. More item quantity is only possible on Amulet Implicit mod by transforming it into Spinefuse Talisman, which would give additional 10% and theoretically 5% quant on each of the ring slots, but in reality proper eye level 84 legacy bases of these rings probably doesn't exist or they are on some inactive accounts. So right now I only miss 10% on the amulet for maximum quantity value possible in the game. Items are just legacy uniques or rares with max possible quant for each slot. Rigwall's Quill's Quiver is great for map clearing because of the fork mode and it also helps with survivability with life gain on hit mode. Since I'm using Grid's Embrace Chess which slows me down by 20%, I'm trying to get movement speed wherever I can, so my boots have a movement speed enchant as well as my Cinder Swallow Urn Flask have a movement speed veiled mode. The amulet currently have Aspect of the Lynx Anoint which gives 4% movement speed and also some critical strike chance to freeze more monsters. For higher maps, I'm swapping for this amulet with Constitution Anoint which gives HP and has Cold Damage mode instead of Item Rarity. Flasks are set up in a way that no flask is changing the resistance's balance, so the Cold Resistance is always the highest one for Cold Penetration with the Wise O flask. Skill Tree Jewels are capping resistances which are quite hard to be capped with Magic Find gear, I also prefer as much life as possible on the jewels. The more resistances I will get on my gear in future, the more damage I'll be able to get on the jewels instead of resistances. Important item is the Watcher's Eye jewel with plus percent to critical strike chance while affected by hatred. On the skill tree I try to get as much life and movement speed as I can and of course damage. Fangs of Frost notable is very good because I deal mostly cold damage and it grants additional 8% cold penetration. In comparison with older 3.8 version I've dropped 2 life leech points and little assault notable to grab the Fleetfoot node which gives 11% movement speed and 20% recovery rate of movement skills that really helps hunting corrupting tempests which this build is designed for at the moment. Another important note is Quickstep which grants 4% movement speed. Ascendancy is Deadeye and it's taking Ricochet for plus 1 chain Endless Munitions for plus 1 projectile and Gathering Winds which grants movement and attack speed. I know I could get increased item quant flask effect with Pathfinder Ascendancy but for now I like that I Ascendancy too much to let it go. Main skill is Tornado Shout, linked to Ice Bite for a frenzy charge source and more freeze chance, greater multiple projectiles, weapon elemental damage, added cold damage and of course item quant gem, the 21-23 double corrupted one. Note that now added cold damage, wet and GMP gems are available in Awakener versions which are more powerful, I just don't have them yet. At the moment I'm farming low maps so I'm not using bar skill for single target. Uh, on my 6 link chest I'm using Siege Ballista so it stacks with tornado shot damage while I'm fighting bosses or strong monsters. It's connected to elemental damage with attack skills, going strike, item quantity and item rarity. Normally I was using edit cold damage as well on the 6th socket but currently because of no room I have precision level 1 aura there. Talking of auras, my other auras are Hatred and Herald of Ice. Herald of Ice is connected to Curse on Hit and Assassin's Mark for power charge generation source. This setup is linked to another item quant gem so I'm not losing any IIQ while killing monsters with Herald. 
Another skill is Blink Arrow Movement skill connected to faster attacks and 4th item Quant Gem, just to be extra sure that I'm not losing any Quant if the copy kills something from time to time. On the boots I have Cast When Damage Taken level 1 setup with Immortal Call level 3 linked to increase duration and level 3 Summon Ice Golem. I don't like to summon golems all the time so I'm using this low level self cast one. The major Pantheon god is Soul of Lunaris mainly for physical damage reduction which is a bit low in this build but I'm not sure if it's the best option, Soul of Solaris also looks good. The minor god is Soul of Shakari for poison immune. Bandit's quest is currently help Alira for resistances but as soon as I'll be able to cap them elsewhere I'll be switching to kill all quest so I have additional 2 passive skill points. Current main skill to radio shot damage on the tooltip is 50k 230 with constant 11% fire, 19% cold and 11% lightning penetration. With the Wise Oak Flask up it's additional 21% which makes it 40% cold penetration. With all flasks up tooltip is 60k 878. Secondary skill Siege Ballista is 21k 140 damage. And with flask up, it's 25k 507. Resistances are 75, 76, 75, and with divination displayed and the wise oak flasks up, they are 81, 82, 81. So this divination displayed flask is not only for magic find, but it's also a lifesaver in some situations. Evasion rating is 5k 180 with 30% chance to evade attacks and 30% chance to dodge attacks from acrobatics passive notable. Physical damage reduction is only 3%, which is for sure a downside of this build, but I don't have any idea how to fix it. Life pool is 5k 621, and with constitution anoint it would be 5k 951, but I don't need that much life on the low maps that I'm currently farming. So this is it, here is a gameplay of a fully sextanted mediocre map with Corrupting Tempest. It dropped 3 six links, which is not too much, usually it's about 5 on this type of maps. As you will see, hunting Tempest is a bit time consuming, so it's not speed farming, but I think 6 link drops are worth it. I've picked the loot afterwards to save your time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. a branch can save a tree. is gone.